this footage away and did not make uh, a video um, primarily because I just didn't get any decent runs uh, on this reverse um, but I didn't throw it away because well, number one there were some quite hectic conditions particularly after the lighthouse where there's sustained periods of uh, mid 30 knot uh, gusts and then a strange thing happened is I ended up having four brooches all quite close together uh, which I really don't understand, uh, so I'll speak a bit more about that. Um, in terms of not getting any decent runs, it's primarily uh, due to lack of boat speed, which is lack of fitness. I've had quite a bit of uh, uh, local travel recently. I've also had a minor injury, so I haven't had my regular three sessions on the water every week for uh, probably two months now. Just to note that this uh, this footage is is not strictly speaking sequential because I have juxtaposed the four brooches so that you can compare them and I'm hoping that uh, those of you who understand what's going on can, would give me some feedback. As far as I can make out, my rudder is not in aerated water. So I don't understand why my nose is not swinging left since the wind is coming over my right hand shoulder and the boat should be pivoting around the anchor point uh, of the rudder. Uh, and granted I haven't got much boat, boat speed in each of these instances but I did have my rudder jammed hard left and I was just getting absolutely no response and yet the nose in all four instances ends up turning into the wind. Now we have the four brooches which I have juxtaposed. Clearly the camera is in front of the rudder so it's not possible to determine with precision uh, the nature of the water in which the uh, rudder is, is travelling. You might be tempted to give me the advice that in order for my rudder to be functioning it needs to be travelling faster than the pace of the surrounding water. Well here's a re reminder in this diagram that in fact the water in an unbroken swell is in fact not moving forward. It is just the energy of the wave that is moving through the water. So there you have it, four brooches all within the space of about 10 minutes. So if you understand what's going on and what I'm doing wrong, I really would appreciate some feedback in the comments section on the channel. Thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Cheers. That's uh, Tim Tal who's come uh, cruising past me. No doubt he started well, well after I did.